Hey guys, my name is Isma. So the new asset library is here, but it's lacking one key important thing, assets. So you can't have an asset library without any assets. So let's fix that. I've prepared a Blender file that has quite an, a lot of assets. I uh, just to kickstart your asset library and uh, maybe you can add on top of that. So we're just going to look at uh, how this asset library works and uh, the kind of assets that I'm giving away are for free. Anyone, you, you just have to be a subscriber on this channel and, and then you can find the link in the description so that you can download it. But uh, if you also want to support me, you can uh, uh, just become a Patreon on uh, my Patreon page so that you can get more assets that I'm going to be uh, preparing more. So one of the things that has always limited me from giving away more assets is uh, how these assets would be organized before the asset library. But now since we have one, it's going to be easier for me to give away more assets since I have a lot of them. And uh, I also have a team helping me create more assets. So, so let's look at how you can add these assets I'm giving away into your asset library. So this is uh, the file I'm giving away. It's called Books Models. I should have renamed it better, but I... When you open up a new blend file, just go to Edit, Preferences, I make sure you're using the latest version of Blender. That includes uh, the asset li library, otherwise you won't be able to access it. So uh, all you have to do is go into preferences, file path, and create a new file path. And I can call this one-on-one -on -one assets. And then just create a new directory or a new folder anywhere on your computer. So I'm just going to call this, then accept. Uh, then you can save preferences if you don't want to do these steps this step again so then you copy uh, this uh, this file this blender file it includes all the textures materials and the models uh, that i'm going to give away uh, so you just copy that and then paste it into the folder you have just created like so now when you open up blender you just have to change any of your viewport view areas into a file asset browser under this drop down you should find uh, the new folder you have, cr you have created. I will call ours Top Channel 111 Assets, and uh, that should load in all the assets I prepared uh, for you. So, uh, because this asset browser is still in, uh, is still work in progress, uh, the thumbnails don't really render the materials, or and collections also don't render the final model. You just see this kind of thing. But uh, if you just drag it into your scene, you will see how that looks. Let me just get rid of this. You can see some of the assets I'm created. All these are free. You just have to be a subscriber to this channel and um, make sure to also like. So again, it's difficult to know what kind of assets you're looking at. So uh, for example, these ornaments here, Christmas ornaments, uh, look identical in this uh, in this thumbnail preview. But uh, if you drag and drop them, you see that uh, they are different assets with different materials and different uh, details as you can see there so since we are also in the christmas season i think this pack here is going to be uh, very useful for anyone who wants to create a christmas type of scene so you just drag and drop them in and, uh, you have something like that also added in a few plants that are well uh, detailed so in the future, when these are rendered with their full materials, it will be far more easier to work with than uh, what they what we have right now. And I also have a few more Christmas lights, and I also have this uh, uh, this Christmas tree light. So if you have a Christmas tree, you just drop this on top of it, and I should have uh, the lights on uh, for you. So and see they even have emissive materials if you have if you if you render them using cycles i will also have some gifts here so that you can complete your christmas tree uh, decorations you can just drag and drop them into your scene and let's find uh, there's also a gifts collection so this is a uh, a bunch of gifts gifts as a cherry on top we just have we also have if you go to the shaders tab oh i think i haven't added that but uh, let me do that uh, because i also was planning to give away some materials so uh, maybe you can also use this chance to see how you can add 
more assets to your library. So for example, I want to add procedure materials that I created into this library as a giveaway. All you have to do is, uh, let me find uh, that materials here. Yeah, there is this one here and uh, a wood material. I have a, a time-lapse video of uh, the process of creating all these uh, materials here uh, on my second channel, Blender Templates. So if you want to watch that, you can go to my Blender Templates channel and uh, watch that. Just to show you how you can add this into your library. Uh, to make it easier, you group all the assets into one Blender file. So for example, I could just copy this. It is going to come, I want it to have both other materials here. So I'm going to copy that and then paste it into uh, this here. And you can see this blend file, the blend file that I'm giving away is going to contain all the assets and uh, all the shaders just for easy organization so that you only have to copy one material. Let me also just give it another collection called uh, materials. So you can see that uh, we have all the assets in this collection are contained in one blender file and that makes it easy for organization. So you can see we have the books, we have uh, the plants, have the ornaments, lights, the gifts, and then now the materials. Now this material has not yet been added into the asset library. So to add it, you just have to go to the materials tab and then select any of the material you want to add, right click and then mark asset. Uh, they should send it to the asset library and now uh, we can also mark asset uh, with this uh, so that we have all those two materials i'm also going to add this in uh, because it's a nice way to preview the different materials uh, that i'll be giving away i'll be adding more materials to this asset library but i think that will be exclusive to only uh, my patrons uh, so if you want to uh, have access to the exclusive procedure materials you can become a patreon and uh, yeah get them like that uh, so I'm also going to add this one here into the asset library. So I'm just going to ID mark asset and make sure to save. Now we can go back to this here. Now if we refresh, now all we have to do is refresh. And you can see how we should have uh, the material preview mesh. Now uh, that has all our materials. And uh, if we go to the shading, we can see now a bunch of new uh, materials. I've also added in a few, oh, a few other materials. You can see we have some dirty soil. Uh, that I'm using uh, for this here and we have some green plastic uh, that we're using uh, for this here uh, that you can change any color to some wood material so let me show you how to use uh, this procedure wood and uh, metal stuff metal shade that I created uh, it's all procedure so all you have so if say we wanted to add a desk here I can just all you have to do is drag the wood material onto that and you should have uh, that added and you can see uh, the details in that and uh, if you go to the materials tab now you can see the different parameters we have you can change uh, the wood color uh, you can change other uh, and uh, if you want uh, the wood to have some dirt in it all you have to do you need to make sure that I uh, you turn on ambient occlusion uh, if you're using Eevee uh, because this uses uh, that ambient occlusion to determine where the dirt is going to be so Add another material here just drop this onto there uh, so this is we want the top side uh, to be wooden and the bottom side to be uh, so let's use the wood shader we have just created uh, this should be wooden and uh, Can play around with different settings maybe let me just show you how this looks on the original uh, 
on this material because it has a, on this material mesh because it has a lot of details uh, that uh, I can easily look at. So let me just first get rid of this and uh, just uh, reduce uh, the bump. So you can play with the contamination. Again, you can also change uh, the color of the contamination. So you can easily make this into a rusted, a rusted uh, metal, like that. Uh, bring, again, this is uh, dependent on the ambient occlusion. So if you have that on, uh, you can get even more details. So the more details uh, your surface has, uh, the better. So you just have to play with the detail, with the effects just a bit uh, to get. You can also test this out on other surfaces. Uh, let's see uh, the metal group. Yeah, I think this looks quite metallic. And yeah, again, the link uh, to download this, uh, this library is going to be in the description. So if you want to check that out, uh, you can find it there. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share the project if you want. Uh, and, uh, yeah, thank you.